Amniocentesis is a prenatal test that is given on a case-by-case -case basis. Here's how to determine if it's right for you. Amniocentesis, which is used to screen for chromosomal and genetic disorders, is usually conducted during week 16 to 20 of your pregnancy. The procedure is minimally invasive and involves the insertion of a long, thin needle into your abdomen. The needle is used to obtain a small sample of your amniotic fluid. During the procedure, some women feel slight cramping or pinching, although others notice no symptoms at all. So why would you want to get an amnio done on your baby? Many women decide to get this procedure if they have had other tests that suggest that their baby may have abnormalities, including Tay-Sachs disease, cystic fibrosis, Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, sickle cell disease, spina bifida, and others. Other women get the test simply because they have a higher genetic or age risk for these abnormalities. Women who choose to have amniocentesis do so in hopes of receiving the peace of mind that the procedure can offer them if their baby is fine. When the news is not good, the test results allow parents to prepare for the birth of a baby with special health problems or potentially to make an informed decision about termination of pregnancy. Women who would not consider terminating a pregnancy might also choose not to have an amniocentesis. Other women might avoid the procedure due to the risk involved. About 1 in 200 amniocentesis procedures results in a miscarriage. Because of these complicated issues, the decision to have an amniocentesis may be a personal choice and is best made with the advice of your physician.